my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jillian. I make new videos every week. So before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. Today for this look, I decided to use the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. So here's what the palette looks like. It contains 16 eyeshadows, four of which are matte and 12 are metallics. So to start off, I did prime my eyes using concealer. I used the Tarte Shape Tape, and then I'm going to use the shade Rollin' in Dough with a Sigma E40, a really fluffy brush, just to set that concealer in place. Then, for my transition shade, I used So Bougie, which is like a really nice, light, warm brown, and I'm gonna put this above my crease and into my crease and just using that same fluffy blending brush I'm going to use windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions to really blend this out. This shade you're not going to see a whole lot but it does help ensure that the darker colors blend better. Then as I have less and less product on that brush I'm going to bring that up closer to my eyebrow so it's a nice gradient effect from a like a more intense color right in the crease blown out up to the eyebrow. Then I'm going to use a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M433 in the shade Cocoa Truffle. This is a nice rich chocolatey brown and I'm just going to use that right in the outer half of the lid and the crease. And I'm not being super super precise with this. I just want to get it on there and then make sure that it's blended. Then I'm going in with that dark black from the palette. The shade so the shade is decadent with that same brush I just used with Cocoa Truffle. Now this black isn't super pigmented. In my opinion, it is quite patchy. I don't love the mattes formula in this palette, but I do love the shades. They are buildable and stuff. I just feel like they don't blend as nicely as previous chocolate palettes from Too Faced do. Then I'm going in with that original blending brush, the fluffy brush, and I'm just, with no additional product, I'm just blending out the edges so that they're not harsh, so that they're nice and seamless. And then because I lost some of that transition shade, I am going to add a little bit of that. Then with my finger, I'm going to use the shade Gold Dipped and just pressing that right on the center of the lid. Now these foiled shadows are quite pigmented. I mean, I don't feel like you need Fix Plus or anything to make these stand out anymore because they are so nicely metallic. And then with the, my same finger, I'm going to dip my finger into Rich Girl and put that on the inner corner. And because I had acrylic nails on, I couldn't reach super far. So I did go in with an Urban Decay Naked brush and just use that to put on the inner corner. Then with that small blending brush again. I am going to add just a little bit more of Cocoa Truffle and just blending the edges to make sure that it is nice and seamless. Then for my wing, I'm, I used the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This liner is so, so black. I really enjoy this. However, if you do make a mistake, you can clean it up with concealer. As you can see on the tip of my wing, it is quite frayed looking and I will go in with concealer and fix that. Um, until this liner dries, you don't want to look up because it will transfer onto your lid, so just keep that in mind. But this liner is so easy to use and it's really, really nice and black. Here I am just fixing that frayed end with some concealer Morphe. and an R45 brush. And then I'm going in with some brown liner. I thought that I wanted brown until I used black. And this Gigi Hadid, the Maybelline liner that she did a collab with, is so black. And it's so creamy. I absolutely love it. Then I'm just using the same shades I used on the top on the bottom. I'm going to mix So Bougie and Cocoa Truffle and just really smear that into the waterline and down on the lower lash line. Building that up to your, your desired liking. And you can take that as far down as you would like. Here I just added some mascara and some false lashes and called it a day. This is the final look. I'm so happy with how it looks. I think it's really pretty. Um, I think false lashes absolutely make the look. So I do like this palette. I don't like it as much as I like the original. 
but I do think if you prefer something much more metallic and glittery as opposed to a shimmer or a sheen, then you will really like this. Again, I think the look is pretty and if you recreate it, don't forget to tag me on social media. I will link my Instagram handle down below. And I just want to say a thank you to everyone who entered my giveaway. I'm so happy with all the positive feedback that I got from it and it just made it so much more enjoyable. Um, once the winner, I found out she was really excited. So, just, I really appreciate all the positive remarks and comments, um, that went along with that. So, thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are, I hope you have a blessed day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>